Hey everyone, so there have been a number of updates that have introduced a couple more of these advanced uh, settings, more advanced settings um, for users to use things like proxies, for things to customize user agents, a, a little bit more complex flows, um, but there may be some use cases that the average person wants as well, and uh, it's definitely a good thing for us to support. So we have a new button that is in the footer here that is these three dots and when you click this what that's going to do is it gives you four different options you're going to be able to specify proxies to use you are going to be able to force the browser i'll go over all of these after a little bit more in depth um, you're going to be able to force the browser to stay open even if the automation was triggered automatically and not from play steps you're going to be able to set a max run time and then you can customize the user agent. So um, a quick example of the proxies. Some users are going to use proxies for social media automation, scraping automations, um, whatever that's going to be there. There's a bunch of different providers to pick from. Um, it's really going to depend on your use case, who's good for you. But when entering the proxies, there's a specific format we need to follow. Um, and I'm going to just copy and paste this example one here so I have something to test with. What we're going to do is, is we're going to paste the proxy and then end it with a semicolon. And if we want to add multiple, we need to continue ending with a semicolon. So you'll see here I can add multiple, um, multiple proxies. And I'll go over how you're going to break this down um, in a second here. But what's important about the f adding multiple proxies is you're enabling this rotation mode so that it can rotate every run, it can rotate every day, or we can randomly select one to run with whenever this automation runs. So that's going to be really helpful for some of these auto, uh, these Instagram automations. Then always showing the browser. This is going to be really helpful for debugging your flows. So let's say that you click play steps, everything works, but when you turn it on, something goes wrong. You're going to want to turn this on and then trigger your flow automatically. Um, instead of play steps, you're going to want to do whatever the trigger is. And what that's going to help with is letting you see what data was sent or what's going wrong uh, so that you can hopefully find where the disconnect is. Um, you do not need this if you are clicking play steps. Play steps will always show the browser. The max runtime is an automation for people that want an automation to stop after a certain amount of minutes. This is going to immediately stop and send whatever scrape data to your database um, as if the automation was successful. And then for custom user agents, um, if you don't know what a custom user agent is, then you definitely don't want to be using the feature. So I would just avoid that overall. Um, if you don't know what it is, you're not going to be able to benefit from it. So, and it's definitely a much more uh, advanced example. So um, one thing, definitely don't be wrong if you are using that. We're doing no validation for you. We're trusting if you're entering that information, you know what you're doing. Um, it won't break anything. It's just the success of your automation would obviously suffer. So those are the features. Um, just a quick a quick breakdown of the proxy feature for anybody that's not familiar with proxies. Whenever you're purchasing from a site, they're always going to give you this type of a format or at least all of this information. It's going to be the IP, which is going to kind of look like a broken up phone number with digits. They're going to give you a port, which is usually going to be four digits. It might not be. It might be two. It might be three. Um, you're going to get a username and you're going to get a password. And so just make sure you're following that exact format when you're entering this. If you're not entering multiple proxies, it's okay. You won't have a rotation method because there's no point. There's no point. Um, super simple setup. And then the automation will always run with this proxy. So if you guys have any questions, please drop a comment. Um, looking forward to seeing how this helps some people. Lots of other features on the way.